Here you go, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Okay. Nope. 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 Yeah. Oh, oh my. He's lifting this up. I thought this was a good idea to use this as a protective measure, but I don't know if it was or not. Oh my. We <laughs> caught ourselves in quite a predicament here. Sorry, buddy. Didn't bring enough for you. Dunbar's ladies ate it all. Hey guys, Dusty Baker at Cross Thrones by Senate. Welcome back to our channel. I'm gonna start doing some fun stuff today. Got Cole and Marissa with me, helping me out. They're gonna do a little favor for me today. Got my little helper up here, Eli. Let's go see what Eli's up to. Got up here at the Ponderosa barn. Got Eli. Good kid out here mowing. By the way, Eli is a, a summer hand that I had this summer. Uh, he lives, I don't know, about five miles from us. And uh, he's kind of, his parents are family friends with my parents and family friends with us. He's a sophomore in high school here and he does a good job. And I can text him or call him and say, hey, you want to work some? And he's up and at it and always responds and is willing to work. So it's a really good summer hand and it's hard to find those you know, at his age. Hopefully he can learn some things at the ranch and all the stuff that we get ourselves into at the ranch and all the projects. And also at the cabins is too, he helped me out at the cabin. So he's up here mowing these uh, weeds for me right now today. And he also has torn a bunch, a bunch of fence down this summer. He's helped me quite a bit um, knock out some stuff. So very thankful for good help. Like Eli, he's doing a good job. Hopefully we can keep him around. He's knocking down, so you can see all those yellow flowers out there. I know they look really pretty right now, but they're they're not good. They're weeds, I promise. Uh, they're broomweed is what I believe it's called. And uh, he's knocking them down for me because we're supposed to get a chance to rain. And um, I threw some seed out in this um, lot here because this lot will come alive here pretty soon. We're gonna work our bison. And uh, I think we're gonna do it this year in December as well, we'll bring, we'll round up all the animals here at the Ponderosa and we'll do uh, their normal deworming and uh, we'll take care of the calves and they'll start the process of weaning. So he's cleaning this up for me a little bit. We'll hopefully get some rain, knock these weeds down. But so our good buddy Cole is up here. He comes up here basically once a month and helps film and do some stuff. Him and Marissa are going to go down and do a Big Joe herd check and see them. <laughs> I don't know why, but um, I've got to do some brush hogging and pasture uh, too. We're going to do some cover crop this year, I think. And we've never brush hogged, but the weeds were really bad this year. Um, there's still a lot of native out in this pasture, but we're going to try to get an eight inch minimum height. And I'm going to knock down a bunch of the weeds in pasture too. And uh, it's just, it's, uh, it's about 20 acres. And so I'm going to start brush hogging, but I told them to go check the Big Joe herd and do that. And so um, I, I, I said, hey, can you guys do me a favor? Can you guys go do that? And we'll leave it up to y'all. So there's no telling what Cole and Marissa can do because I'm always with them. And it makes me nervous to uh, let them go out in the pasture by themselves, but I think they can handle it. No telling what kind of shenanigans they're gonna get up to. Um, so I'm gonna brush hog. and they're gonna go check the Big Joe herd. I didn't know I was some. supposed to take pukes. Some, it's fine. See how much of that hay they get. Okay. All right, I'll be careful. All right, bye. That's a big pool. Yeah, that's why you want to fire it. Saved some, but we can. For the other herd? Yeah. And I left the whole line of them back. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. I'll figure it out. Here. Oh, God. Ooh, look at the fungus in the poop. All right. Let's save the rest for Big Joe. Fresh trees 
spread out back there. Fence line, they should give us some space. These girls are fired up. All right, all right. I guess I could throw some cubes out down cool. Mm. Oh, oh gosh. Big Joe. Back it up, buddy. Just lift the seat. <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. Oh, hey. Okay. Nope. 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 Yeah. Oh. Oh my. He's lifting this up. Here, here you go, bud. <gasps> <I'm doing> <laughs> oh my gosh, Cole. This is a terrible. Okay. Yep. Oh my. We <laughs> caught ourselves in quite a predicament here. Uh. I do not feel actually safe at all right now. I don't know about you. This is making me get very uncomfortable. <laughs> sweating. You want to hop in the back and I'll drive I don't away. know. Oh. They're going to chase us regardless. Oh. You get in the back and I'll drive off. Yeah, but all your stuff is right there. It's Where all are we right. going to go? Did you get what you needed? Okay. Okay, you just hang on there. I'll be okay over here. Oh. Yeah, but he stuck his entire head in there, Cole. He, he sure did. Oh, sorry. I thought this was a good idea to use this as a protective measure, but I don't know if it was or not. Okay. Back up, Joe. Okay. Back up, bud. Hey, buddy. Get back, please. It's okay, bud. It's okay, bud. The only difference is that it makes me a little nervous now with him is that he has gotten in a fight with Dunbar now. So, you know, he's felt his power more than he ever has. Yeah. So it's like if you start pushing on him, it's like is different he than, fight back? than before. Don't lick my water bottle. Well, Cole. Needed to bring more cubes. <laughs> Uh-uh. Pick it back. Back, Big Joe. Hey, buddy. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't bring enough for you. Dunbar's ladies ate it all. 
Well, 32 is the one that makes me nervous. She's got crazy eyes. Okay, try it if you want. Well, Dusty, how's it going? It didn't take long to find something in here. It's like a really thick cable. Where is that? What's that from? Power line? No, it's just part of this junk pile that the previous owner had. Uh, okay. Yeah, other side. We'll just, we'll just have to, this is the shortest part of it. We'll just, God dang. yeah, I'll have, <laughs> I'll have you push it. Or I'll push it so you, you can pull it, that portion of it. Oh my. You take it to your side and I'll pull it back to me. Pull it again on this side, that, that piece and it's pushing. Yep. Yeah, just take it to your hand. There you go. And then I'll pull it. Yeah, I'm pushing that side. Taste it. <laughs> Taste the rest. That was the end of it, Dusty. Uh, no, no good in the hood. Is this one of those moments you talk about? You can't just go out here and do what you, you want to do. Work. It's always <laughs> done and done. <laughs> Somehow, somewhere. Did it tear the blade up? No, just. It just spins around it. Oh. This will be going to recycle. Dusty went to Alaska <laughs> and brought some big wool commercial <laughs> or something. I think so. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what my cousin uses on his crab boat. Really? No, tell him. How in the world would you even use that, though? Oh, they have it on a crank, Cole? Yeah. yeah. It's a huge drum. It's on your left right there, Cole. It's ready to go. Right. On this one. Yeah, that one. That's it. We got more? Oh, two more coils. Holy smokes, Dusty. You found it. Yeah, and then I didn't hit the PTO until I realized what was going on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jeez. You made it go by a lot faster. Oh. Yeah, going back and forth. Well, we saw you with the thing up and we're like, oh. well, something doesn't look like, something doesn't look right over there. Okay, that's it. That's the last of it. Jeez. I'll drop over it. Cool. Started back there. I pulled some of it out as I was moving forward, so. But, you know, this is probably a lot better, a lot better than barbed wire. Yeah. That would have been rough. At least it was big and not something small and gets up in it. It was just wrapped around this, basically. Oh, is there another? There's a third one underneath there. One, two, and three on the other side. Yep. Orange stuff. Sorry, Dick. All right. Well, looks like he's had to weld a few times. Huh? Is that what that is? Right. Looks like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
he hits it again. Cool. So this is common ragweed. Um, this is exactly what it says. This is, you know, in uh, lots of parts of the country, but a lot here in the south. And um, this time of the year, late September, as we're kind of getting out of the growing season, uh, these guys have hit their potential. Uh, they've hit their max. So basically, uh, the next thing is we got to cut them down. If you want to do some weed management, weed control, because we don't spray at all. Um, we'd have sprayed a long time ago to keep this stuff down. But um, you've got to go brush hog it before they start to seed. And um, when they start to seed out, and if you brush hog it when they're seeding out, you're just basically throwing the seed everywhere. So um, we're trying to get, you know, plants like this, like a common ragweed, a broomweed, those before they bloom and start shooting these seeds out everywhere. Uh, we've got to get them brush hogged. So that's why we're doing it right now. As a holistic approach, uh, because we don't spray, this is something you can do. And lots of people are doing it right now. They're brush hogging um, their weeds to try to manage them. Plus, it just looks a little better.